This is Los Angeles, sprawling metropolis of the West. It's a beautiful city. It walks like a young giant from the mountains down to the sea. It has shining buildings and modern freeways. Almost engulfed by the city surrounding it lies a little street, Olvera Street, a street that appears to have been forgotten by time. Here, a group of 11 Mexican families, accompanied by some soldiers and padres, founded El Pueblo de Nuestra Señora La Reina de Los Angeles, the city of Our Lady, the queen of the angels. Even today, its picturesque shops and restaurants are reminiscent of Mexico, and its people still speak the language and observe many of the customs and traditions of their ancestors, the founders of the city of Los Angeles. Very nice work. Very nice, senora. Senor, it is a bargain at seven dollars. Oh, darn it. I'm all out of film. Oh, now, isn't that a shame? And he's so picturesque. Just like that scene stamped on one of my bridge tablecloths. You know the one I mean, Ralph. The lazy Mexican sleeping against the wall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the lazy Mexican. But, Vidal, why? You could go to work for me tomorrow. Today, if you wish. It isn't such a bad job. To sit on the ground, wrapped in a sarape, and pretend to be drowsy. Believe me, Luis, I need a job, but not that. I, I wish you would. This man is very unreliable. He really goes to sleep. I can't, Luis. I can't sit on the ground. Offer me anything else. Let me take care of a stand. How often have I dreamed of owning my own stand? You know I've never been afraid of work. I'll do anything. But this job, it is without dignity. Try to find something else for me. I'll try to do what I can. Gracias. For nada. Buenas noches, Vidal. Buenas noches, amigo. Take your hands off the doilies. I wash my hands. I hope he likes it. Of course he will. You're late, Vidal. We were beginning to worry. Why are you standing like this? Look around, Father. Surprise. Surpresa. Papa, surpresa. What's all this? This beautiful furniture is a surprise. It came today. And the payments are very little. Sit in it. What happened to the old furniture? Uh, uh, Mom gave it to the guys for our club. What's the matter, Pa? How do you like the picture of the Holy Family? We got it free for buying the furniture. Don't you like it? Yes, I like it. It's nice. But it must go back. And you, Tomas, bring back the old furniture. But, Pop! Don't call me Pop. Understand? What's the matter with him? We thought you would be pleased. Why must we send it back? Because I say so. I've invited friends here Saturday night. We're having a party. There will be no party here. The furniture must go back. Can't you give us a reason? Tell us why. We've got the right to know. All right. I will tell you why. Because the Anglos have laid me off. I no longer have a job. What happened, Vidal? For two years, I worked for the big yard. I thought everything was fine. But today, the boss told me I am too old. I wasn't keeping up my end of the job. Just because I had a little headache and I had to rest for a while. Oh, it's all right. You'll get another job. Where? Where will I get a job? When an Anglo becomes old, he's promoted to a boss. But when a Mexican becomes old, he's laid off. You don't have to work. I am working and Tomas will get a job. And lose it on the same day. I'm going to get a job, a steady one. You'll see. I see nothing. Pizal, please rest. This has not been a good day for you. Pa, listen, I can't ask my friends for the furniture. What do they think of me? Of us? I got pride, too. Go see what your pride will buy in the grocery. Only men can afford pride. The furniture goes back to the store. No, I say no. Tommy's right. I don't see why Say the nothing, furniture... Helen, nothing. At the yard, I obey my foreman. In this house, all of you will obey me. There is nothing more to be said. And you, Tomas? 
Everybody will give you a shine, Lucy. How's my girl? You're too sure of yourself. Too sure I'm your girl. When you weren't so sure, you came around every night. You haven't even been near the sweet shop lately. That's easy. I'm broke. That's no excuse for not seeing me. So long, Tommy. Lucy. I'm sorry, Lucy. Honest. All right. We got some new furniture. New furniture? Gee, it must look swell. It does, but the old man got fired and... He says the furniture's got to go back. Oh, I'm sorry, Tommy. So am I. Here it was a beautiful blue sofa. We would have looked good on it. I bet. Here we put up some clean curtains and some new pictures, and we thought the old man would be as happy as we were. Then he starts in on me for not having a job. You know, it's not easy getting a job. You know, it's not easy. I know it isn't. Tommy, let's go roller skating at the Avalon rink. We haven't been there in a long time. No dice, I'm flat. I got money. I'm not taking money from a girl. It's not like I was just any girl. Oh, come on, you used to be a good skater. It'll take your mind off of things. I, I don't know what happened to my skate. You can rent some. How about it? Please. Oh, OK. I'll go over to the club and tell the boys the bad news about the furniture. Then I'll come by your house. Don't be long now. I won't. better by the wall. It's okay by me. Get your end. Hi, Mr. Philanthropist. Come on in. Have a seat. Wait up, Tommy. How you like it, huh? Pretty good, huh? Say, this journey's beginning to shape up. We're gonna be real comfortable here. You said it, Gogo. This is gonna be a mighty exclusive club. Better than home. Hey, what's up? Nothing. I'm all right. All right, he says, but his chin's resting on his shoes. Spit it out. Somebody giving you trouble? It's my father. That's no trouble. That's somebody you live with. He lost his job. Bad. Well, we got to expect it. Last one hired, first one fired. Hello, boy. Hi. Hi. Oh, new furniture. It's new for us. Where'd you get it? We didn't steal it if that's what you're worrying about. Nobody said you did. We just want to know where you got it. I gave it to him. My mother did. Anything wrong with that? Take it easy, Tomas. What right have they got always snooping around hey, here? Hey, cool off. You're too excited. Yeah, cool off. Just a routine check. You're always routine checking us. Do you check on the guys that have clubs over in Beverly Hills or Brentwood? Callate, Tomas. Por favor. He's an excitable guy, officers. His mother really did give us the furniture. Honest. That's all we wanted to know. What's the trouble with you Pachuco kids? You've always got a chip on your shoulder. Come on, Al. Punch in the mouth I can take, but not the little things. The thousands of little things that pile into a big mountain, like we wasn't people and don't need to eat or a place to sleep. The way you're acting, you're gonna go out and punch some angler right in the mouth. Some poor jerk who's never done you nothing. So what? It'll make me feel better. Until the cops dump you in the tank. So relax. My father, he wants the furniture back. But you got new furniture today. He's sending it back. Don't worry about it, Tommy. We understand. How about playing some cards or telling each other big lies? Yeah, let's. No, I, I gotta meet Lucy. We'll see you tomorrow, Tommy? Yeah, sure. So long. Have a good time, but don't get no trouble. Oh, I won't. But don't let Gogo out tonight. Don't worry. We're gonna chain him up. Man, would I like to poke some angle. Right, Tommy, you said you were gonna get a job. Two. Sorry, but this happens to be Wednesday night. What's the matter with him? Mexican night, Thursday night. That's great. All right. 
We'll come back tomorrow. I wouldn't come back to the place if they paid me. Come on, Tommy, let's forget it. Let's get a soda. The drink will do me more good. All right, we'll make you feel better. Come on. <laughs> this place looks all right. Let's go to the sweet shop instead, huh? Come on. What's the big idea? Tommy. What's eating you, Buster? Keep your eyes on that bar. This isn't fellow when people don't bother to look at you girls when you ought to get sore. Oh, a couple of wise guys. Tommy. Go on, beat it, Mix. Ah, the late for you go. I thought you were going to get me a drink. Good evening. Come on. Aren't you going to order? Come on, Lucy. I'm sorry. Where are we going? You're going home. Good. We'll go to the sweet shop first. Some other time. Hurry, that bus will take you home. <laughs> Here. What are you going to do? Tommy, you'll get in trouble. Come home with me, Tommy. I I'm afraid to go home alone at I night. I won't get in trouble. Should I wait for you? I'll see you around. Just go home. Tommy! <laughs> Those two guys. What'd they do to you? Nothing. Forbid it. Street fighting's the surest way to get your head split open. Here. Wipe your face, amigo. Thanks. What's your name? Why? Look, I'm Pete Ganusa. Now, what's your name? Tommy Cantanas. Live here in L.A.? Sure. Got a family? What are you, a cop or something? No, I'm kind of a talent scout. You do a lot of fighting? You can drop me off any place. How old are you, Tommy? Why are you asking so many questions when I don't ask any? You just ask one. A kid like you should learn to be more polite. Can't go around beating up the world. Tonight, I sure like to. <laughs> Cry it out, Tomas. You'll feel better. Hi, baby. Hi, Pete. Didn't expect to see you tonight. Oh, with me, you never know. Francis, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. Tommy, this is my best girl. Hi, Tommy. Hello. What's good to eat? Everything. Oh, let go, Pete. Don't look good. I might pick you up later. Later, maybe. But now, you're going to order. Mm-hmm. Hamburger and coffee, no onions. How about you, Tommy? Same, I guess. Fine. Hurry it up. Yes, sir. Feel better? Guess so. I don't remember when I cried last. Everybody cries. Some like you did, some on the inside. What you did's better. Hi, Pete. Long time no see. Hi, Annie. Say, you get around. Means nothing. Well, what do you say? I don't know. Oh, now look, Tommy, you have a trade? What do you want to be, a porter working a gas station? 
be a laborer and get shoved around like your old man? No, but I just never thought of becoming a fighter. Don't you want money? Don't you want to be on top and feel proud? Have people look up to you? Yeah, but my father won't like it. There are lots of things our fathers don't like. They're still living in adobe huts in old Mexico. I had to make the break myself. I used to do some fighting before I went to the army. Then when I got out, I didn't have the old speed, so I became a manager. I do all right. I might do all right for you. I'm showing you the quickest way to get someplace, be somebody, as good as any Anglo. Better than any Anglo you can lick. How is everything? Oh, fine, baby. Here. Keep the change. Well, thank you. What time you get through? At night. And I'm going right home. Good, I'll pick you up. I said I'm going right home. All right, if that's the way you want it. Well, we'll see. My friend Tommy here is thinking of becoming a fighter. I've got a hunch you'll be all right. Really? Gee, I think that's wonderful. Oh, I gotta go now, Pete. See you at 12? Okay, baby. Bye. And I wish you luck. Lots of it. Jack. Hi. Nice to meet you. You didn't bring your gear? Oh, see if you can fix them up with some trunks and shoes. Well, I think I can find them some shoes. Who am I gonna box? We'll find you somebody. Showers on the left, in the locker room. Good. Well, what do you think? Not bad. He's a natural hitter. He's got a lot of guts. If he can learn how to box, he might be all right. I'd like a shower to pep you up, huh? I didn't do so good, did I? What do you mean? You did fine. Fine? I just got my breath back and my arm. I never knew gloves could be that heavy. Conditioning and training will take care of that. Hi, Keeney. Oh, hi, Pete. How old is he? He says he's 18. Sit down. You know, I think we can make something out of you. Never know till we try. A lot of guys who try wound up hearing bells. I wouldn't want to get punchy. Neither would I. But like I told you last night, I'm not interested in you as just another fighter. I've got a hunch you've got what it takes. I think you can be big, important, an important fighter. And if I'm no good, you'll tell me? I'll tell you. OK, Pete. I'm your boy. When do we start training? Right now, if you want me to.
Hey, what's that? Tommy Kansas. That's your fighting name. Tommy Kansas? Say, that sounds all right. Well, he certainly looks like a fighter. What do you mean, looks? He'll take that kid tonight like nothing. I wish you luck. Sure dresses you up. Yeah. Hey, Pete. How am I going to pay for this stuff? It's all taken care of. Robes are present, the rest you'll pay when you can afford it. Gee, I don't know how to thank you. And I want to pay you as soon as I can. <laughs> they all have to start sometime. That car's over here. Now, look, remember, 7.30 in front of the arena, huh? Right. You know how to get there? Yeah, I've been out there before. OK, now, I want you to go home and take a nap. Relax, uh -huh. take it easy. No heavy Mexican home cooking. No tacos, no tortillas. Eat in a restaurant. Order some beef, a salad. No potatoes, and don't eat too much. And have your old shoes. You're going to have to break those new ones in before you wear them in the ring. OK, manager. 7.30 sharp, don't eat too much, wear old shoes, relax and take it easy. Atta boy. Hasta la vista. Hasta la noche. Oh, no, thanks. You need a program to enjoy the bounce. This tells you all about the fighters. Tells you all about everything. Oh, I'm one of the fighters. You are? Well, pleased to meet you. Which one is you? Tommy Kansas. Well, I've never seen you before. You must be new. Yeah, this is my first bout. Gee, I remember my first bout. It was with... What was his name? Gee, I had so many fights. 80, 90. Won plenty, too. Maybe you heard of me. Shifty Jones, lightweight. I was pretty big here on the coast. Who's your manager? Uh, Pete Danusa. And I'm being trained by Freddy Jack. Freddy Jack. <laughs> well, well. Hello, Shifty. Hello. I was taking care of your boy. I'll take one of those, Shifty. Keep the change. Thanks. Now, you treat this boy of yours right, or I'll have to take over, understand? I'll take good care of him. He's in good hands, Shifty. So long, kid. I'd like to stick around, but I got customers. Good luck. Thanks. Programs, programs, get your programs, ringside. Was he a good fighter? Programs, yeah, he was, but he didn't know when to quit. Let's go. Uh, you're Tommy Kansas. Yeah. I'm Billy Smith. Oh, we're gonna fight. Yeah. This dressing room is some dump. Oh, you ever been up to the arena in Landwild? No, this is my first fight. Oh, well, you gotta go up there. This place is like a palace. <laughs> How many fights you had? It's my fourth. And you're still fighting openers? Well, I'm lucky to get bouts. Ever stop to figure out how many fighters there are in California? I'm down the coast, all over the country. Well, there must be hundreds, thousands in our division alone. It's a tough racket. Pays off big for a couple of guys, but all well, the rest. Well, I got to get my hands taped. Glad I met you. Yeah, the well, same here. Good luck. Thanks. Same to you. In the black corner, from Los Angeles, making his first professional appearance, weighing 144, Tommy Kansas. <laughs> Your referee this evening, Frankie Van. Now you boys know the rules. I want a good, clean fight. In case of a knockdown, you know you're taking eight count. Keep your punches in fair territory. When I say break, break clean. Now shake hands and come out fighting at the bell.
Heal him out the first round. Keep your guard close, high. Keep that left in his face. Good luck. Good luck, amigo. Just fine. But don't slug with it. Boxing. Keep your left hand up and speed it up a little in this round. Get off first. Now remember, box. Don't slug. And this was his first bout. You didn't listen to Pete. Why did you stand and slug with him? I knew I had him. I just wanted to finish strong. Fighters who think they know more than their managers and trainers don't last long in the beak busting business. I was balling them out for not following instructions. Crowd liked it. Crowd's ruined plenty of fighters. Here. Yeah. 35 bucks. Now I gotta pay you and Freddy. Oh, this one's on us. I figure a fighter deserves all he gets out of his first fight. $35. I worked two rounds, six minutes for $35. Hey, that's about, uh, about $350 an hour. Hey, Chihuahua, that's about $2,000 a day. Yeah, about 100 bucks a punch. You better put the brakes in our boy. Now listen, you worked almost three months for that $35. You're gonna fight once in about two weeks. We haven't figured gym costs, equipment, and, uh, us. Hey, you'll be all right. Take a shower and get dressed now. Hold up. <laughs> so you see, I was doing something. There it is, 35 bucks. Only I I'd like to keep 10 for myself since I have some expenses. And you can use the rest of the money, Ma, for anything you want. Where did you get this money? I told you I worked for it. Doing what? Fighting. I became a professional fighter. A fighter? You became a fighter? That's right. I won my first bout tonight by a TKO. A TKO? That's a technical knockout. What do you know? Tell me the fighter. Whoa! Enough. A fighter. What's the matter? Ma could use that money for the house, for the furniture. The furniture. The cursed furniture, which all of you insisted on keeping here. Vidal. So you become a fighter, a prize fighter. Gee, Pa. It's great to be a fighter. We don't tell all the kids in school. Look at him, how he glories in his brother's disgrace. Go to bed. Fighting is no disgrace. It's... Tomas, you could be badly hurt. I won't have it. He will not be a fighter. What is a fighter but a brute, a man without dignity? Try to pay for a loaf of bread with dignity. I am a poor man, but I am not a brute. I am of quick temper, which I shouldn't be. And I have other sins. But this I know. 
I wouldn't see a prize fight. I wouldn't be a prize fighter. And I don't want my son to be a prize fighter. Does my family understand? I've got dignity too. Enough to want to get us out of here. Do you want to live here forever? Tomas, sit down. Sit down. Why would anyone want to live without comforts in houses that stand only by God's grace? But we cannot live anywhere else. Outside is a city that has no use for us. Then we ought to die. But I don't want to die. I want to get out. Suppose I really make good. You know what? I'll put you in business. In business? Sure. I could get him a stand like Luisa's over on Olvera Street, and you could wear a sport shirt and some new pants, and maybe have somebody work for you. It would be wonderful. Why not? There's always tourists on Olvera Street, and I bet that Mexican junk is real cheap to buy. This I do not know. No. no. What you suggest is impossible. Why? It would be wonderful if you had your own stand. Let's speak no more. Tomas, you are to give up fighting. I won't. Then you will leave this house. You will not leave. Since you lost your job, you have not been yourself. Do you like what he's doing? It is dangerous, but not dishonest. And Tomas is doing this, daring this danger for us. So we must pray for him. He will not leave this house. Not until he wants to. Good evening, Mr. Gomez. Good evening. I, I know it's late, but could I see Lucy? Is there someone for me, Pa? Tomas Cantanius. Tell him to come in. I'll be down in a minute. It is too late for you to go anywhere. I just want to talk to her. Please excuse me. Come in, tell me. I'll be right with you. Buenas noches, señora. Buenas noches. This is a surprise. Madrecita, ven aquí, por favor. I'll get your mother for you, Felipe. Madre, quédate aquí mientras Lucy habla con su amigo. Está bien, hijo mío. Buenas noches, joven. Buenas noches, señora. Abuelita, este es un amigo mío. ¿Tú conoces a su hermana Elena? Sí. Siéntate, muchacho. Gracias. I shouldn't have come over tonight. You were in a fight? Oh, not like you mean, Lucy. I've turned pro. I mean, I became a fighter. Fighter? That's right. I had my first bout tonight. This is nothing, because I won, Lucy. I got paid $35 for just 15 minutes. Fighting's dangerous. You can get hurt. Sometimes fighters get killed. People get killed crossing the streets. Well, I can't get enthused about it. There must be something else, something better you can do. Name it. Go ahead, name it. Well, but you can get hurt. Oh, uh, hanging around you, you'll have me scared. I'm sorry I bothered you and your family. You don't have to go. I better. Your father's sore enough already, and your grandmother ought to be in bed. Tommy. Hey, mira quien está aquí. Hola, Tomas. Hey, hello, stranger. Hugo. Where you been hiding? Oh, I've been around. Hey, who hung that one on you? Who was it, Tommy? Somebody we know? Raise it 500. Uh, some guy I don't think you know. I'm out. Make it a 1,000. What'd you have trouble with this guy, Tommy? Over at the Valley Garden Arena. Hey, you went to see the fights. You would have told me I would have gone with you. You're lucky the cops didn't take you in. That's a tough place for one of us to get into a beef. Hey, hold it. You guys got this all wrong. I fought this guy in the ring. Did you say in the ring? Yeah, I fought the first preliminary, one by a TKO. Hey, you kidding us? Man, I had that guy out on his feet. A fighter? Hey, Tommy's a fighter. A fighter? Oh, hey, why not telling us? anyone? When are you fighting next, Tommy? Uh, Pete, he's my manager. It says in about two weeks. Well, we're going to be there, all of us. Just try to keep us away. We'll have a rooting section. You and after your it. next fight, boy, we're going to throw a party. Gee, I yeah. feel great. Wonderful. I never felt better in my life.
One of these days, Tommy, you're gonna meet a real boxer and he'll cut you to ribbons. A fighter who loses his head, who doesn't follow instructions. We might as well stay home. Ah, uh, you make a sound as if I didn't win. Did I look that bad, Pete? Well, Freddy's your trainer. You're gonna be meeting tougher boys. Rick, Pablo! You were great, Tommy. You were great tonight. Oh, great fight. Oh, oh, oh. Pete, Freddy, the other boys from the club. Rick, Pablo, Benny, Coco, and Joe. Hi. 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 Hello. Hello. You know, we're getting a party for Tommy tonight. Maybe you'd like to come. Oh, I'd love to, but I can't. Give me a rain check, huh? Sure. How about sure. yourself? Oh, not tonight. Take a shower now, Tommy. Sure. And no drinking. Have a good time, but don't even get happy. See you in a minute. Champion of the world, Tommy Kansas. Viva Tommy Kansas! Hey! Come on, Tommy, a little speech. Please, 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 come on. Give him a chance. He'll be here all night. No speeches, no speeches. Here, give him a drink. Aquí vamos. Where did you get this stuff? Never mind. We got it. This is a Tommy Kansas special. A new drink we invented for you. What is it? It's tequila, rum, slow gin, and ginger beer. All mixed together. Don't drink it, Tommy. It'll make you sick. Try it, Tommy. It'll change the color of your eyes. <laughs> Man, I should have had some of this stuff on my gloves tonight. <laughs> you want to dance, Lucy? Not right now, thank you. Chippa 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 chip. The little cricket simply won't let him sleep. He put his head beneath the pillow, closed the wing. You still heard the little cricket yell his name. A chippa chippa until he cracked a ramba. I see it is no use to try to slumber. He walked into the night, into the bright moonlight, just to avoid the little chippa chippa chip. And there was star shone above. He found the girl he could love. They met and kissed and delighted. Only had one and And now his life is complete for love. Some party, huh? It's nice. Don't you like it? It's all right. What's the matter, Lucy? All this making a fuss because you became a fighter. I can't stop thinking it's dangerous. I bet you enjoy seeing the dark side of everything. Tell me it isn't that. It's just that I keep seeing you hurt. It can happen. I talked to your sister about it. You did? The family's worried. So am I. About them. How they live. My father never having a decent job. How I'm having to quit school when she didn't want to. Tell me. I'm trying to make something out of myself. But nobody seems to understand that. Tommy, listen. You've had him long enough. Come on, let's do some footwork. You can have him in a minute. Right now, we're talking personal. All right. You don't have to bite my head off. Next dance, Tommy? That is, if it's all right with your trainer. Yeah, sure, sure. I think I'll go home. Why? Because of her? She was only kidding. I'm spoiling your good time. Everyone's happy, and I guess my face looks like a long run in a stock. Oh, come on, Lucy, stay. You'll have a good time. You don't have to go. But I brought you. You're the guest of honor. It isn't far to the house. Oh, okay. You want to walk out on the party? Me right back with the money. Oh, hello, Mr. Ponzi. Have a drink. I sell this stuff, never drink it. What is my money? What's the trouble? You tell me. 
We'll give her our business and he's yelling. Isn't our credit good anymore? It never was good. We were going to collect junk this afternoon, pick up some cash, but we got busy with the party. Look, we'll see you tomorrow, eh? You'll see me now. I want my money now or my stuff back. How much do they owe you? Twenty-one dollar and thirty cents. Oh, gee, Tommy, this isn't right. No, Thomas, no. But we'll give her the party for you. Here, owe you thirty cents. It's all right. You had no right to come here, Ponce. And you just see if we'll give you any more of our business. It's okay by me. Get lost, bandido. Agarrado! Third party, champ. Stadium. Kansas has been held to one draw. He's a hard hitter who shows promise. That's my big brother. Wednesday night. Good. Where am I fighting? El Monte. Ah, oh, crummy dump. Can't you get something better? We well, got plenty of time to get you in shape. But another problem I don't want to beat. What's griping you? Plenty. Eight fights I've had. One seven. Three by a knockout and one was a draw. And I'm still fighting for limbs. But you're moving up. Training every day. I work like a dog. And what have I got to show for it? Nothing. Last night I began to figure out how much I made and Tell me, one thing you got to have in this game. Patience. Patience? For how long? I've averaged about 10 bucks a week. 10 bucks for training every day and taking a pounding in the ring. Look, be patient. Keep on like you're doing. You'll need bookkeepers to count your money. When I've got nothing, I'm broke. Everybody thinks I'm loaded. They expect me to be well-dressed and to be able to treat people to drinks and stuff. And I'm flat. Uh, you worry too much about people, crowds, things that aren't important. When you wanted me to turn pro, you gave me the big build-up. Now I want a semi. Come on, champ. You still got another mile to go. Sure, kid, as long as you like. I'm awfully tired. Like if I've been working. Chocolate Gans is a rugged boy. He hit me in the break. You saw it. Sure. The referee warned him. Yeah, but it took all the steam out of me. But I gave him a real battle, didn't I, Pete? It was close, wasn't it? Yeah. It was close. Eight wins, one draw, and one lost by a decision. That doesn't sound too bad, does it? Sure you feel all right, Tommy? Sure, I'm sure. What's the matter? Don't you think I can take a little punishment? You match me up with him again any time. Well, this time he won't hit me on the break. Go, go. You take him home. No 
Okay, kid, hit the shower. Hiya, Tommy. Hi. That was a good show you put on. Thanks. Sorry I couldn't do better for you and the rest of the boys. You did all right. Next time you do better. Sure. Where are the other boys? They, they went on ahead. Rick and Pablo had a date, and uh, Benny and Joe, they wanted to get home early because they're getting a couple of days at the gas station. Oh. But they told me to wait for you. Oh, I'm sorry, Gogo, but um, Pete and I have some business to talk over. Uh, you want me to come with you, Pete, or can I wait till tomorrow? Well, I, I kind of counted on you coming in with me. That is, if you don't mind, Gogo. No, I'll breeze. See you at the club tomorrow? Sure. Sure! This time the tables were turned. The other boy gave you a beating, eh? Leave me alone. I suppose you revenge yourself. Did you make the other boy's eyes black or his nose bleed and perhaps you knocked out some of his teeth? No, I'll stop. Tomas is hurt. I'm all right, Ma. Only I wish he wouldn't ride me. It's gonna be a little short this week, right? Make it more. Some training expenses. Pa, you done any asking about the stand? You are determined to go on with this even after tonight? I tried to stay awake until you came in, but I guess I fell asleep. And then you ought to go back to sleep. Did you knock him out? Fighters gotta lose him once in a while. Otherwise, he wouldn't be human. Now, you better go back to sleep if you're gonna get up in the morning to go to school. I don't think I'm going to school. What's the matter? Are you sick or something? I don't know what I'm gonna tell the kids. The kid? I told him you were going to win. I've been taking this with me every day and showing him your clippings. I'm sorry you lost. Honest, I am. You know something? Tonight I found out that other people depend on me to win. People that don't get a cut out of my winnings. But I'm not just that. What's keeping that kid? Don't yell at me. He'll be here. How was he in the gym today? No, so. What I don't understand, Pete, is why don't you tell him? I can't. I heard you promise in the beginning. If he wasn't any good, you would. I know I did, but you know how it is. Promises are a dozen for nothing. Now I can't. I just can't tell him. You'd rather see him get punk silly, huh? You've got no right to say that. Haven't I? What's the matter with him? Can he see he's getting nowhere? No, he can't. All he can see is buying his father a stand on Alvera Street. Moving him into a better house, making something of himself. But he hasn't got it, Pete. He's like a hundred others. You thought he had. Not as far as he can get. From now on, he can only get down. You ought to tell him, Pete. Stupid kid. Why can't he find out for himself? Well, here he comes. Hello, Pete. Hello, Tomas. Hi, Freddy. Freddy said you're not coming with us to Pomona. No, I gotta be with Larry Ramon. You know how it is, Tommy. It's his first fight. Yeah, I know how it is. Come on, kid. We're late. Pete could have come along. What's the matter? Don't you like my company? 
I'll cut it out. Well, Larry's a new boy. Pete can't be in two places at once. Maybe he sees a better prospect than him. Come on, Tommy, stop your griping. We're going to be there in about five minutes. Hey, this place looks all right. It looks like a dump. Well, you're not sleeping over. Why spend all that money for a hotel room? I don't like it. For crying out loud, we'll just about clear expenses if you win tonight. My father and the boys in the club ought to see me now. The big fighter, putting up in a flop house. I thought of it in the shower. And for a minute, I didn't know where I was. Don't catch cold. Get dressed and we'll get something to eat. Listen to it. Some poor slob must be getting murdered. Yeah, sounds like it. I said get dressed. Yeah, sure. You haven't said a word since we got on the bus. I've been thinking. About? Maybe I ought to quit before it's too late. You know, maybe Pete's been wanting to tell me, but he couldn't because I wouldn't let him. Think so? My family never wanted me to be a fighter. My father, my mother, sister. They never liked it. Most families don't. Only my cute brother, Pepper. Gee, to him, I'm a big man. Keeps a scrapbook about me and everything. But my family will be happy if I quit. I guess they would. And I thought of someone else would be glad. Who's that? Lucy. Lucy? Sort of my girl. Haven't seen her lately, but she'll be glad. Managers and write for you. What do you mean? Well, you started off great. Yeah, and how? Maybe Coco's got something. Sure. After all, a manager is supposed to groom you, build you up until you're ready. I'm as ready now as I'll ever be. Oh, forget it. Nah. I've been doing some thinking tonight. I got stopped on a TKO. It's too bad. Oh, what's the difference? Next time you'll win. Nah. I'm beginning to see things like they really are. The way Peter and Freddy must have seen them for a long time. Go, go. You got some gas in your jalopy? Sure. How about all of us taking a drive down to the beach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah let's do that. Hey, I guess I'll be shoving off. Nothing doing, Tommy. You're going with us. I gotta get home honest. Why? You doing something tomorrow? 
No, I guess not. Good. Well, then you're going with us. Come on, let's go. Gee, it's great to be with you guys. It sure is. I've been so busy training, I haven't had any time for my friends. Say, how about me treating all of you to hamburgers and coffee? Yeah. Well, yeah. it's great to have a millionaire friend. Yeah. Fine, let's look for a place around here. Maybe we ought to wait till we get down to the beach. No, nah, we don't want no crummy joint on the pier. Hey, Gogo, that drive-in looks sort of nice. Hey, man, this is Beverly Hills. For what? Pull in. Good evening. I bet we're getting the water treatment. Let's get lost. Set. We're not moving. But we'll get in trouble. We're staying. Miss. Miss. Let's go. Yeah, let's get out of here. Now we gotta sit it out. Hello, boys. Hello, officer. Hi. You live around here? We're not that lucky. That your jalopy outside? It's mine, officer, but it's got everything on it. Horn, fenders, even fog lights. I've seen you someplace. Looks like you've been in a little trouble. No, I haven't been in any trouble. Maybe you saw his pictures in the papers. Or maybe in the ring if you go to the fights. What's your name? Tomas Cantanios. He doesn't ring a bell. But he fights under the name of Tommy Kansas. Tommy Kansas? Oh, sure, you fought at the Olympic in the Legion. Yeah, a couple of times. I got a call over the radio that a bunch of Pajucos were liable to start trouble. Trouble? We've been sitting here with these lousy glasses of water that waitress spilled all over the table. Just before you walked in, they put up that sign over there. Oh, I guess it was all my fault. They didn't want to come in, but I forced them to. Now everybody's looking at us like if we were crooks or something. Let's get going. The waitress will be right over. They were busy. They don't have to give her that. We'll go. We'll stay. Sure, you know how it gets. Everybody wants to be waited on at the same time. The hamburger's mine. We'll have our coffee now. How about a little service over here? How about some fresh water? Those glasses have been sitting there for a long time. This is more than enough for sloppy service. Uh, let's leave her another dime. She'll hate us 10 cents less.
Well, it's a nice night for a run to the beach. I don't think we'll go. What's the matter? You can't give us an escort, can you? What would you want with an escort? We've been lucky tonight because we had Tommy with us. But we shouldn't force our luck. What's the matter, you boys superstitious? We're not superstitious. We're Mexicans. It's a good thing Tommy was along and we would have wound up in the camp. Lucky that cop recognized him. You said it. It pays to be somebody. Pablo is right. Being somebody means something. We found that out tonight. Kid, huh? Hello, Pete. Freddy. How do you feel? Pretty good. Better than last night. What's this Freddy tells me about you quitting? Oh, last night I was feeling kind of low. You know how it is. I said a lot of things I didn't mean. And I did a lot of things in the past that weren't just right. But I'm starting fresh, Pete. From now on, things are going to be different. I'm going to do everything you tell me. And Freddy, I'm going to train like I never trained before. Look, are you sure you... Of course I'm sure. I promise. You believe me, don't you? Okay. From now on, you're the boss. You too, Freddy. Great news for you. I'm putting Tommy in the main event with Art Aragon. Wait a minute. What's happened to Bobby Strat? Ah, oh, he's sick. Can't even stand on his feet. I could kill him. You'll have to get somebody else to fight Aragon. He's not ready for a main event. How do you like that? Your manager thinks you're no good. Don't Please. answer him, Tommy. I'll do the talking. He fights Jack Garvey. Six rounds, semi wind up. That's it. Some doctor you got here, Jackson. He can't do anything for my boy. You're a boy. I'd like to see him dead. Oh, you no good. I got a table. I got nobody for the main event. He tells me to take it easy. I got almost a full stadium out there that paid a buck and a half and up to see a 10-rounder. And he, he ain't got a fighter to put in the ring. All these guys think he'd be nervous. Everybody's nervous. Everybody. You expect to get paid, don't you? Sure. All right. If I got to call this off, nobody gets paid. Understand? Nobody. Well, why don't you get Jack Garvey? No, nah, he's not good enough. I got to have a boy in there that can put on a show. Listen, we're all in a spot. If I haven't got a main event, I got to give them back their money. I'm finished. And you, you'll never fight at another club. I'll have you boycotted by every promoter in this country. How can I help it? He ate something. How many times I got to tell you that? Now I'm going to hang you on a hook. One of my cashiers saw you and Bobby in a bar this afternoon. I suppose you just went in for the free lunch or something. This could cost Bobby his license. He did have one drink this afternoon, just one shot. I swear, just one shot. I ought to spit in your stupid face, putting us all on a spot like this. I'll have their licenses. I mean, Pete, you gotta help me. You'll get Bobby's purse and I'll give you 50 besides. No. A hundred. No, you hear me? No. I'm willing to. Shut up, Aragon will murder you. He'll ruin us, 150. You bet I'll ruin you. This is my bread and butter. I ain't got ulcers and high blood pressure for nothing. I got it from guys like you that don't know how to manage fighters. Now, you want me to give them back their money? Take it easy, everybody. I'm going in with Aragon. You're not. But I want to go on, Pete. This is a good break for us. A main event. It'll be good for me. And I'll give you 150 right now, and I'll never forget you for this, Tommy. Never. Don't do it. Aragon's a top notcher. You're not ready. They talk like you're yellow, Tommy. Shut up, everybody. Suppose we arrange it so that Art doesn't hurt Tommy. Nah, no, they'd smell it. No, they won't. I'm not going to have Tommy hurt. And I'm not taking any dives. Stay out of this. You're gonna do as I tell you. That's the way it's gotta be, you understand? Wait a minute. Aragon won't hurt him. It'll be like Pete says. Not so fast. You lay off Bobby and Williams. Yeah, you got my word. And we get Bobby's purse. Absolutely. Pete, stop worrying. Your boy will do fine. I gotta get going and straighten things up. You get that lush of yours out of here right now. I'll never forget you for this, Pete. All right, get up the money. 
Sure, sure. 150. You'll give me 450. You're bleeding me. I don't trust Jackson and his percentages. I want a flat guarantee. 450 bucks right now or he doesn't set foot in the ring. What's the idea? Stay out of this. Not so long ago, you promised Freddie and me to do as we say. You're in a jam. And it's going to cost you 450 bucks to square it. Tell me, you think I told you to stop talking to my fighter? Now get it up. Cash, no check. Beat it. Here you are, Tommy. Where your father stand. Remember? Fix him up, Freddy. I'll be back in a minute. Where are you going? I'll be right back. Hi, Jimmy. Art. Hi, Pete. Hi, Pete. Can I talk to you for a few minutes alone? You guys, outside. Sure. Listen, fellas. We didn't want this, Bob. Jackson pressured us. Said he'd blackball us, get all our licenses. Bobby got drunk. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. Barney started to go to pieces. So my big brave hero, Tommy, said he'd go in with you. Yeah, I know. Jackson was in here to tell me not to carry him. He did? Yeah. He's a real louse for you. So I know what you want to ask me, Pete, and uh, Jimmy will back me up. Tommy will be all right. I like him. Gracias, amigo. Sure. Tommy's a nice kid. That's <laughs> wrong. We're both Mexican. Tommy will be all right. Don't worry. I didn't hear a word Jackson said. So you could tell this to your boy. I'll make him look flashy for three or four or five. No, no, only four rounds. After that, any time he wants to fade, I'll make it look good. Oh, thanks, fellas. You just gave me back 10 years of my life. Hey, Pete. Yeah? Tell your boy not to try to hang one of his blockbusters on me. <laughs> Don't worry, he won't. Institutions are usually most unhappy things. But they say this boy, Kansas, has a most impressive record. It'll be interesting to see how he fares against the fighter of Aragon's caliber. Tiger 
throwing solid punches, everything he has. Aragon is bleeding from both nostrils. Folks, you have to see this to believe it. What are you trying to do? I can beat this guy. He's giving you a break and you're crossing him. I don't need a break. He gave his word he wouldn't hurt you. But I didn't give him mine. Rat, that double crossing little rat kill him or kill him. Kill the double crossing little, you understand? Me? Shut up. No plane anymore. You're out of your mind, he'll kill you. That's the trouble. Nobody has any confidence in me. But I'm gonna show you I can fight. Show you I can take him. <laughs> All right, Tommy, I tried to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. It's your funeral. Hello, Mrs. Sanchez. Hello, Mrs. Gregorio. How are you feeling? Fine, much better, thank you. That's good. Are you all right, Tomas? Oh, sure, Mom. Isn't it too cold? You feel all right? I told you, Mom. Just let me sit here for a while. Come in if you are cold. Someone a kid in the schoolyard. You know, boxing, and they think I'm pretty good. Maybe he could give me a couple of pointers. Who knows? Maybe with you teaching me, I may become real good. I can call myself Young Kansas.
wanted to see you at the hospital, but your sister said you didn't want visitors. Rick, go, go, Benny. All your friends wish you'd come around. What for? Just to sit around in a crummy club room and play checkers for matches? Oh, Tommy. Oh, what's the use of kidding myself? I'm all through, Lucy. Why stop? I had my chance and blew it. It was all just a waste of time. Nothing's a waste of time if you learn from it. And what did I learn? How to fight? I'll never fight again. Don't say that. You'll go on fighting as long as you live. For what? That's what I'd like to know. For what? For the things that are right. For yourself. For other people. Look. Very fine work. Very fine, senoras y senores. A bargain at $11. Gee, Lucy, maybe you're right. There must be other things I can do. Maybe I'll find them. Oh, of course you will. You know, I'm glad you came back. I never went away. Thank <laughs> you.